When I first learned about the Space Shuttle software development team, I was amazed by their achievements and the principles they follow. As I dug deeper, I realized that their success wasn't just about technical skills, but about leadership and organizational culture. Today, I want to share with you the three key lessons from the Shuttle software team that any leader can apply to their own projects. But first, did you know that the Space Shuttle software was so reliable that it had an error rate of just one bug per 420,000 lines of code? That is like finding a single typo in a 850 pages of text. Now, that's what I call attention to detail. First and foremost, the Shuttle software team had a well-defined development process. They didn't just dive into coding, they spent extensive time on upfront requirements definition and design. They use structured programming techniques, detailed code inspection and rigorous testing at multiple levels. They also had a strong configuration management system to control software changes and releases. Having a quality focused development process was the foundation of their success. A well-defined process is the launch path for success. Here is a funny fact. The team was so meticulous that they once spent a week debating whether to use one space or two after a period in their code comments. Talk about sweating the small stuff. The second lesson is the power of automation and tools. The shuttle team didn't just rely on their programming skills, they leveraged automation to amplify their abilities. They created a custom programming language called Hall S that supported real-time programming and reduced error. They used static analyzers to catch defect early and simulators to thoroughly test the software before flight. By embracing automation and tools, they were able to achieve extremely low defect rates. Automation is the rocket fuel for software quality. Interesting fact, the HAL S language was named after the infamous AI from 2001 Space Odyssey. Luckily, unlike the namesake, this HAL never tried to take over the shuttle. Now, let's talk about the third and most important lesson, independent verification and validation. The shuttle team had a separated team that tested the software independently from the developers. This provided an unbiased perspective and helped catch defects or risks that developers may have missed. Having a separated team is a best practice for any safety critical software project and it was a key factor in the shuttle software reliability. Independent verification is the safety net for a mission critical software. Fun fact, this team was so thoroughly that they once found a bug by reading the code backwards. That sounds crazy, but the shuttle team's success wasn't just about these technical practices. They also had a culture of continual learning and improvement. They meticulously track and analyze every defect, no matter how small, to identify root causes and prevent future occurrences. They proactively sought out better tools and techniques and collaborated with outside experts to stay current with industry best practices. This mindset of continual improvement enabled them to get better and better over the shuttle's 30-year lifespan. Here is a mind-blowing fact. Over the entire space shuttle program, not a single bug in the flight software caused any critical failure. That's over 30 years of flawless performance in one of the most challenging environments imaginable. The Space Shadow software team achievements are truly remarkable. They demonstrated that with the right process, tools, and culture, it's possible to create software with unparalleled quality and reliability. While most of us aren't building software for spacecraft, the lessons from the shuttle team are relevant for any software project. Define a quality-focused process, leverage automation, use independent verification and validation, and always be learning and improving. But to apply these lessons successfully, you first need to have the right leadership mindset, and that is exactly what I explained in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.